In a somber conclusion to a lengthy struggle, the remains of Alexei Navalny, the prominent Russian opposition leader, have been returned to his family, according to his closest allies. The transfer effectively ends the contentious battle for custody over Navalny's body, a dispute that has underlined the political tensions within Russia over the treatment of dissidents. Navalny, a vocal critic of the Kremlin, had been a central figure in Russian opposition politics known worldwide for his anti-corruption investigations and his campaigns against high-level Russian officials. His activism had led to numerous arrests, and in 2020, he was poisoned with a nerve agent, an attempt on his life that he and Western officials have blamed on the Russian government. Navalny's subsequent arrest in 2021, upon returning to Russia from Germany, where he had been recovering, sparked international outrage and led to widespread protests within Russia. The transfer of his remains comes months after the European Court of Human Rights, ECHR, demanded Navalny's release, concluding that his rights were violated and stating there was a risk to his life. However, despite the order and global calls for his release, he was detained and kept in custody. The exact circumstances of his demise have not been made public, and his case has been fraught with opacity. But what is clear is that his passing, while not unexpected, given his deteriorating health and reports of inadequate medical care and detention, has further emphasized the Kremlin's firm stance on political dissent. Alexei Navalny's figure symbolized a challenge to President Vladimir Putin's rule and showcased the rising domestic discontent with the government's policies. The battle over his remains was more than a mere legal dispute. It was a testament to the struggle over Navalny's legacy and the right of his family and supporters to mourn him according to their wishes. International human rights organizations and Western governments may likely point to the return of Navalny's body as further evidence of the need to scrutinize Russia's conduct towards political prisoners. While the transfer offers a degree of closure for Navalny's loved ones, it also raises uncomfortable questions about the fate of other dissidents and the state of human rights in Russia. The return of Alexei Navalny's body to his family marks a grim chapter in the narrative of opposition within Russia and stands as a reminder of the personal costs faced by those who challenge the authorities. Though he is no longer alive, Navalny's political presence and significance continue to reverberate both within Russia and across the international community, which watches closely the Kremlin's next moves in the season of political unrest. The issue remains relevant today as it embodies the ongoing struggle between state power and individual freedom and the international dialogue regarding human rights, political expression, and government accountability continues with intensified interest. With his remains now back with his family, the memory of Navalny's fight for a more transparent and democratic Russia endures.